Congratulations, you're through to the fourth round. It felt like that first set was extremely impor important for that match and it really set the tone. Uh, do you feel like it was uh, what got you the, this match? Well, uh, first of all, good evening uh, to everyone, everybody on the Rod Laver Arena. Thank you for coming out tonight. Thank you for uh, always creating a, a great, great atmosphere for us players. And, you know, obviously, you guys, uh, your energy gives us strength in the important moments. So thank you once again from the, from the heart. Thank you. Uh, it's also nice to see you, Yelena. I haven't seen you in, uh, in, in ages. So thank you. See you. Uh, you know, when was the first time we saw each other here? Do you remember? Is it, is it the first time? No, no. Do you remember when was the first time I actually met you here at the Australian Open? Um, Let's see if you remember. <laughs> um, okay, so you... 2007. Six. Five. Yes, six. six. Good. Okay, you won in 2008. <laughs> and uh, you came to me here in 2006 and you said, uh, Hi, I'm Novak Djokovic. Do you remember me? <laughs> and I said to you, yes, I do. And I have to admit, I didn't because we hit two years earlier. And um, I pretended I did, but I definitely know who you are now and I remember you now. <laughs> well, um, to return the compliments to you, uh, I was looking up to you, obviously. Yeah. You played for Australia, but you, you know, you come from our region, so we spoke the same, we speak the same language. Obviously, you were a big star at the, at the time, and uh, you know, I was, I was really happy to play with you. So it's great to see you again. Yeah. The pleasure was all mine. <laughs> so let's try to talk about today's match a little bit. Uh, I think that. Um, Every point, really, every game mattered. And I think, it, you know, the turning point, so to say, for both players was uh, right from the, from the blocks, you know, the very first game. I think, you know, making a, an early break for me was important. Obviously, I didn't know, you know, how I'm going to feel physically. It was kind of going up and down. Um, you know, Grigor is someone that I, I truly admire and respect. Uh, you know, he's one of my best friends on the tour. Uh, we go back a long time. And uh, he's uh, one, of, one of the most talented players that you'll see on the, on the tour. Uh, he's been around for many years. He's such a great athlete. Um, you know, I thought double break in the third was going to be enough for me, but, uh, you know, he, he was locked in from that moment, you know, to, uh, to, uh, up to the very last shot. I didn't know whether I'm going to prevail or not. So. You know, it was uh, an incredible battle, three sets over three hours. Um, you know, let's uh, rest up and prepare for the next one. Talking about a battle, another very good friend of yours, Andy Murray, and you are the only Grand Slam champions left in the draw. Both 35 years of age, the most experienced out of anybody. Does it give you extra motivation against the young ones? What do you mean, the young ones? <laughs> I mean... 35 is the younger. 35 is the new 25, you know. Tell you what, you are playing and moving like you're 25, so. I mean, look at Rafa, look at Andy. I mean, they're all playing at an extremely high level. So, you know, we're I'm trying to trying to do the same. Obviously, uh, every season counts, I guess. Now, you know, when you come to the probably the last. Uh, stage, last quarter of your career, um, you know, obviously you, you start, I think, appreciating and valuing every single tournament more because you know that uh, you might not have too many left uh, in the tank. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I, I've been very fortunate to do what I love. I truly love this sport. I love competing. It's been now almost 20 years of professional sport. So, uh, yeah, I can't, I can't be more grateful than I am. Well, talking about love and the love affair, I have to talk about the Australian Open. You've won it nine times. You're going for your tenth. It's your most successful Grand Slam. There's clearly something about Rod Laver Arena and Melbourne that makes you play so well here. What is it? <laughs> it's few things. It's few things. Uh, first of all, I love, I love, you know, I love the conditions here. I think, you know, particularly in the, the night, you know, night sessions, um, it's played. 
uh, it's played really well for me, I think, for my style of, of tennis. Um, and I guess the more you win on the court, the more confident you feel every next time you step on the court. And, and of course, the atmosphere over the years. You know, this is one of the most important stadiums in the world. So this court, um, this court, this this stadium, this crowd always gets gets the best out of me. And I, you know, I, I try try my very best as I have tonight. And uh, you know, uh, I'm, I'm really fortunate to to uh, still stay in the tournament. Last one. I'll let you get uh, back to your recovery. Uh, talking about uh, night sessions. Dimino Djokovic fourth round Monday potentially a night session. Your thoughts on that one? Yeah, <laughs> obviously uh, Dimino are one of the quickest players on the tour, probably the quickest guy. He has improved a lot. Obviously he has uh, Leighton Hewitt in his corner, who is multiple Grand Slam winner, number one in the world, and uh, you know that's a that's that's a great team. Um, so playing in front of you guys, obviously I don't know how many of you will be on my side. <laughs> I don't think I don't think too many, but I don't know. Uh, let's see. Obviously, it's going to be it's going to be a great atmosphere, I'm sure, and uh, I'll, I'll look forward to it. They love you. We love you. Thank you, Novak. You're through to the fourth round, ladies and gentlemen. Novak Djokovic. Yeah, terrific interview, Yelena Djokovic, and Novak Djokovic. And uh, yes, he is right at home. He has set up shop once again on Rod Laver Arena, and uh, just looks unshakable and unbreakable, even with that dodgy hamstring. We uh, talked a little bit there about Alex Dimonor.